Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will see how to interface OLED display using Python on Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. We can use any version of the Raspberry Pi. I will be using Raspberry Pi model 3B. We will be using pre-installed Raspbian OS on the SD card. You can refer my previous video on how to set up Raspberry Pi. Again, we will need OLED display jumper wires and breadboard so let's build the hardware now so we'll connect wires to the OLED display OLED display has four connection that is VCC, ground, SDA and SCL VCC and ground will provide the power to the display and SDA and SCL are the two I2C pins this is the connection diagram you can find the connection diagram link in the description here you can refer the pinout of the Raspberry Pi. Pin number 2 and 4 are 5 volt and pin number 6 is ground. So pin 4 and 6 are connected to the OLED display. And pin number 3 and 5 are I2C pins that is SDA and SCL respectively which is connected to the OLED display. So our hardware is ready now. Let's see the coding part. Now power on the Raspberry Pi, connect it using VNC and open the terminal. Before we start to code, we will have to enable the I2C interface of the Raspberry Pi. So for that, go to the Raspberry config, interface option, I2C and start the interface. Now I2C interface is enabled. After that Raspberry Pi requires to restart to take the effect. Now we will run the I2C detect tool to find the address of the I2C device connected. For OLED display, we will use Adafruit library which is very stable and very useful. So let's clone the repository. Now change the directory to Adafruit python ssd 1306. Now run the setup pi install command to download the dependencies. This will take couple of minutes to download the dependencies. Now again we will change the directory to example where we will get all the demo examples. Now we will run the examples one by one.
we can even change the image just copy the image into this folder change the name in the python script and rerun the script that's it if you are copying the image in jpg bmp or png format then uncomment this line and change the name here comment these lines this change basically fetch the image and convert the image into the bitmap array format thank you for watching video please like share comment and subscribe to the channel for more videos